everyone and welcome back to my channel Candace here with crafting elegance here on YouTube and I am also paper crafting elegance on Instagram and it's the 25th of June so it means it's time for me to share the projects that I made for that smash that small paper pad collab so I have been working in this paper pad by simple stories called I am I worked with it um, a couple of months ago and I made several projects and for this month of June, I finished up the paper pad, so it is completely smashed, yes. And I have made some more projects that I wanted to share with you guys today. So what I decided to do for my projects first was I decided to create a cute little suitcase. And this suitcase, let me try to bring you guys out a little bit so you can see it. It's a nice size box and I got the tutorial to make this box online from another crafty YouTuber. I will link her channel below. So I followed her tutorial to create this lovely, lovely little box. And it's a suitcase. So the theme um, that was mostly shown in these papers, um, which gave me the inspiration, was a suitcase element. And I decided to mirror that um, with my project. So just to look at it all around i just used a lot of the 12 by 12 paper that coordinated with this collection um, to create the box but the projects i've made were using the six by eight paper pad so i'm going to go ahead and open it so i used an element from hobby lobby this is like a clasp in their sewology section so i created um the little fasteners by using this faux leather buckle and it was $1.99 each from Hobby Lobby to create this fastener. And I thought this was so cute um, to create these. So you just open it like so. The little fasteners open like this. And then the box opens. So inside I'm gonna show you all the projects that I made for this month. So I'll first start off with the cards. So this month, I decided to create some um, five by seven cards. So here's the first one. I just absolutely love this. Um, I wanted to use up more of the paper this month, and I thought easiest way to do that was to kind of just trim the paper down from the six by eight size, layer some of them together, and kind of just use up that paper a little bit faster. So if you've never made five by seven cards, I certainly um, suggest that you do because it does use up a lot of your paper when you have those six by eight paper pads. So this sentiment here comes from memory, no, it comes from pa uh, Poppy Stamps. And the um, swans that I'm using here also kind of fit with the collection and they come from Spellbinders. And I used a little bit more of the uh, chipboard sticker pieces and just some um, enamel dots from my stash. Now there's no sentiment in the side yet, but I will create one later. So this is the first card. The next card is using some more stamps from Memory Box and Poppy Stamps. Um, this one, I love this little big image, so cute. The sentiment says, sending birthday wishes to you on your special day. And it's using more of that gorgeous paper from the collection. Um, I'm also using some of my dies. This is just a um, like an A2 size scallop die that I have from Gina Marie that fits really well here in the center. So that's card number two. And then the last card that I made is using um, another image from that same stamp set from Memory Box. And I'm adding on some butterflies. These butterflies come from Poppy Stamps. And I've just put um, popped them up with some foam tape use some more of the pattern paper from the collection, and then the sentiment sending you very special hugs your way. So cute. I just love these five by seven cards. I think I'm gonna start making some more. Also from the collection, I created several um, embellishments. So here is the first set. I made some cute little rosettes. I apologize for the glare. So I just took some of the pattern paper from the six by eight collection, used my Tim Holtz rosette die and created them. And then I just added a butterfly on one of them. And then the other three can be used 
um, however the recipient wants, however they want to embellish them. And then I created this cute little bag typer and another um, uh, rosette here. And I just used some stickers from the sticker sheet to coordinate to create some embellishments. The next set of embellishments, I'm using a um, envelope die. This envelope die comes from My Favorite Things. I created a, um, a heart from one of my hearts uh, dies that I have in my collection. I'm using another butterfly, and then this sentiment is coming from the sticker, uh, icon sticker sheet. And then here's that um, swan again. I'm also using some more of my rosettes that I created, and some more of the ephemera pieces from the collection. And then to create the bag topper for the cute little um, uh, packaging, I created another rosette and used some of the chipboard stickers um, from the collection. So I thought these were adorably cute um, and cute and ready to give away to a crafty friend. I also created some bows from the collection as well. So I made um, four bows here, just two of each design. I just love this cute leopard print from the collection. And then I also made um, some, uh, these are just uh, gift card holders. So I have them in this collection here as a set and really can't see much from there. So let me just go ahead and show you that these are several little gift card holders. You can put a gift card in it or if you wanna put some more like goodies. Um, I made four of these from the paper pad. So I thought this was adorable to have and a great way to gift um, some goodies to a crafty friend. And on the gift card holder, uh, I also created a couple more. So I'm using this die from Honeybee Stamps. It's their gift card holder die. I used some more of the pattern paper and I created this just like that. So, so cute. And it has a little holder to it. And I made a couple of these in different patterns. So there's one. I also made this out of the leopard print. And I just uh, die cut a little heart from my collection in some glitter paper. And then the last one here. So I have three gift card holders to pass along. And then lastly, I just had um, a couple more embellishments that I did. So I made some coffee cups. And this is using a die from, um, I believe it is Fun Stamper's Journey. I love their little coffee cup die. It has two, it comes in two sizes. So I use those as well as some hearts from my stash. And then the sentiment here, coffee, comes from Honey Bee Stamps and I layered it with three different colors. So the background is in the pattern paper from the collection and then I layered the black and white. Just thought this was adorably cute. So that, and then the last little rosettes that I created look like these. I just layered them together. Um, these were extras, so I will just throw these into the little suitcase as well and gift them to a crafty friend. So I had a lot of fun playing with this collection, guys. I'm so glad that I was able to smash this paper pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my goodies back in here. They fit so nicely into this box. And like I said, I'm all set and ready to uh, pass this along to a crafty friend. So they have tons of little goodies, some sample cards. Um, they are ready to go with items from the I Am collection. Now, if you didn't catch any of my other videos, I do wanna just briefly share with you some of the other projects that I made with this collection. So I had made several little tags and I have a video showcasing these tags that I made. So here they are. And this was a little suitcase inspiration that I had for this collection. So that's the first tag. And these were layered tags that I was inspired by crafting with Lillard to create. So I'm just showcasing them really quickly here for you, just in case you missed that video. And then I also had made a cute little memory decks card and so fit and cute here. Use some more of the pattern paper and the die that I use for my um, memory decks comes from Heidi Swap and I just layered it a couple times and then added the embellishments to it. 
And then also I made several A2 size cards in this collection that helped me to smash that small paper pad. So I'm just gonna quickly showcase all the little cards that I made. I did have a video with this as well. And these were just so cute and adorable. So if you have other paper pads in your collection that are smaller than a 12 by 12 and you would like to get through them, just like many of us in the collaborations here, um, just like many of the collaborators here, come along and join us as we um, share with you the projects we make each month, smashing through our collections. It just kind of helps you um, to get through your paper pads and to use up some of your supplies as well as um, you know, showcasing them to other crafters and giving inspiration. So if you'd like to play along with this, go ahead and follow along using the hashtag smash that small paper pad and we'd love to see what you've been making. So thank you all for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that subscription button below along with the notification bell. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.